I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw words that have the short E vowel sound. I'm going to start right here in the center and put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line. Keep going. Curve line, curve line, curve line, connect inside this space. So I don't forget what I'm doing. I'm going to write short. E. Eh. Okay? I come right above and I put a dot and from that dot I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down, come back to the dot, straight diagonal down, slightly curved line, connect. I come back to the left and I draw a little straight line, come to the right, little straight line, underneath, slightly curved line. Come back to the left. I'm going to draw a straight line down, curve line over, leave it floating. Come back to the right. I'm just going to draw a straight line down, connect. If you have room, draw a little straight line, straight line over, straight line up, connect. Inside we're going to write red because this is a red crayon. R E D. And right here is that short vowel E. Red Ed. I come over to the right and I put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line up, curve line down, curve line up, and leave it floating. Come back to the dot and I'm going to draw a curve line down, curve line out, wavy line, wavy line, wavy line, connect. Come over here on the bottom on the left and we're just going to draw a wavy line out, over, up, connect. I come inside and I'm going to draw a curve line, wavy line, up, leave it floating. Come up on the top, straight line, wavy line, straight line down, connect. Come over here where our dot was, curve line out, curve line in, connect, one dot, two dots. What do we have? We have a hen, hen, a female chicken. There's our short E. We put that little curve line above so we know what it is. Come down over here, almost on the bottom, and put a dot. And from that dot, we're going to draw a curve line up, over, straight line, connect. Come over here on the left, we're just going to draw a straight line out, little curve line. Come on the right, straight line down, little curve line. Come back to the left, and connect. Right about here, we draw a straight line out, straight line down, curve line, keep going, keep going, connect. Come up here, and we're just going to draw a little curve line. And now, starting on the inside, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. One more if you can fit it. Curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. What do we have here? We have a bed. Bed. There's that short E. Okay? Come all the way over here to the left. We're just going to draw a slightly wavy line. We're going to draw a straight line down, straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down, straight line. Right here at the point, straight line over, slightly curved line down, and connect. Come right over here on this point and let's just draw a straight line, straight line, straight line all the way over. Come right here, we can draw a little tiny straight line, straight line, straight line rectangle and we're going to put an X inside. 
we come down and we're going to draw one, two, three straight lines. Straight line inside, little straight line, little straight line. And now we're going to fill straight lines across on this side. Now do the front, straight lines across over here. Okay. All the way down. And what is this? This is a shed. Shed. And there's that short E vowel sound. Now come all the way up over here on the top left, put a dot, and we're going to draw a skinny rectangle. Straight line down, straight line over, straight line down, straight line connect. Next to it we're going to put a dot and we're going to draw an oval. Curve line, curve line, curve line. And inside put a dot we're going to draw curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. And what is that? This is the number 10. F, 10. And there is that short E vowel sound. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to color is my 10. And I'm doing mine blue. But if you want to, you can do yours any color you want. I just chose blue. And this is a good way of learning your colors. So my number 10 with that short E vowel sound is going to be blue. Next, I take my red and I'm coloring the tip of my crayon and the bottom of my crayon, but I'm going to leave this middle part alone. Now I'm going to come over with my red since I have it out and I'm going to color the top part of my hen. hen. Next I take my yellow and I'm going to color my nest for my hen and I'm going to color yellow for the inside part of my bed. bed. Next, I'm going to take brown and color the headboard of my bed. Oops, my crayon just broke, but you know what? It's still good. So I'm going to keep it. And I'm going to take blue green or turquoise and color the top part of my quilt on my bed, turquoise blue. I'm going to take green and color the bottom part. Now the last thing I'm going to color is my shed and for that I'm going to use gray and lightly color that. Now naturally I forgot something, I always do I'm going to go all the way back. Wait a minute. Let's do my chip, my hen in. The beak should be orange. Now, I forgot to put my border. I'm asking you to put a little straight line border on the edges. I'm using black so that you can post this as a chart or you can use it as a book. There we go. That looks better. Alright, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here are my short E vowel words all colored in. Tin, red, hen, bed, and shed. Okay, bye bye.